Today, we'll be creating a stunning fashion poster in Photoshop. I'll guide you through every step of the process, from choosing the right images to adding stylish typography and effects. Whether you're a beginner or looking to enhance your design skills, this tutorial is perfect for you. So let's design together and bring your vision to life. Set the document size to 1080 pixels wide and 1350 pixels tall with a resolution of 300 dpi. Afterward, feel free to rename the file for easier file management. Simply hit enter or click on create to proceed. First, we'll embed the texture for the background. To do this, go to File, place Embedded, and select your desired texture. Once it's embedded, adjust it to fit the document as needed. Once you've completed the transformation and adjustments, set the opacity to 25% for a subtle effect. Now, we will bring up the picture, open the image file, and remove the background. Select any selection tool, then click on the Select and Mask button. Next, click on Select Subject to isolate the subject. Once the subject is selected, click on the Refine Hair button. Scroll down slightly and check the Decontaminate Colors option. After that, hit OK. You'll be amazed at how cleanly the background has been removed. Now select the image and drag it into your poster design document. Once it's placed, adjust its size and position to fit the design layout perfectly. Next, we'll create a shadow for the subject. Start by locking the texture layer, then create a new layer. Select the brush tool and carefully paint the shadow around the subject. Adjust the opacity to make the shadow look more realistic and blend seamlessly with the rest of the design. Select both the shadow and subject layers, then right-click and choose Convert to Smart Object to group them together as a single editable layer. Now let's create some design elements for the poster. First, select the texture layer, then choose the elliptical marquee tool and create a circle shape on the design. Next, go to the adjustment layer panel and click on solid color. Pick a color that matches the subject's lips to ensure the design flows naturally with the overall color palette, keeping the aesthetic consistent. Next, select the Rectangular Marquee Tool and create a rectangle selection at the bottom of the design. Then go to the Adjustment Layer panel, choose Solid Color, and pick the color from the circle you created earlier. Once you've selected the color, click OK to apply it. Now lock the rectangle layer. Since the edge of the background is still visible in the photo, add a layer mask to the rectangle. Then using the Brush Tool, carefully erase the visible part of the background. Make sure the foreground color is set to black to ensure the mask works correctly and removes the unwanted area. Select the rectangle layer, then create a new layer. Next, choose the rectangular marquee tool and create a rectangle selection on the right side of the subject. Go to the adjustment layer panel, click on solid color, and pick the same color you used in the previous step. Once you've selected the color, click OK to apply it. Select all three shape layers and lock them. Then lock the subject layer as well to prevent any accidental changes while working on the rest of the design. Now let's work on the typography. First, select the type tool and type the letter G, then enlarge it to the desired size to make it the focal point. After that, type the words grace and glow and adjust both text layers to align with the letter G as I'm doing. Once aligned, change the text color to match the overall color theme of the poster to maintain visual harmony. Finally, type the phrase, shine with confidence, and position it neatly on the left side of the letter G making sure the text is balanced and complements the design. Now let's refine the circle shape and adjust the text details to seamlessly integrate them with the overall composition.
Now let's create some additional elements to further enhance our composition and give the design a more polished look. First, I'll select the line tool and carefully draw a line that complements the existing layout. Next, I'll switch to the elliptical marquee tool and create a circle. Once the circle is in place, I'll head over to the adjustment layer and choose solid color and then hit OK to apply it. This step not only adds structure, but also balances the composition effectively. Next, we will convert both the line and shape layers into smart object. After that, duplicate these smart objects and position the copies in other areas of the composition to enhance the overall design and create a more cohesive, balanced look. Now select the rectangle shape and enlarge it vertically to the desired height. Next, duplicate this rectangle and position the copy on the left side of the letter G, aligning it carefully as demonstrated. We will embed the text now. To do this, open the text document and drag it into the main design file. Once imported, adjust its position as shown, then drag the text down to place it neatly at the bottom of the subject image. Duplicate the text layer and update the content to read 2025. Then position and adjust this new text as shown. Afterward, duplicate it again and place the copy on the right side of the subject image to balance the composition. Now let's bring this element into the composition by dragging it in and positioning it as needed. Afterward, duplicate the element to use it elsewhere within the design. Go to the File menu and select Place Embedded. Then locate and select the QR code file you want to use. Adjust its size and position appropriately within the composition. Now, we'll change the QR code color from black to white. To do this, simply double-click on the QR code layer then, enable the Color Overlay option and set the color to white. We are done with the design. However, if you want to change the color of your poster at any time, simply go to the Adjustment Layer panel and select Hue Saturation. From there, you can adjust the sliders to modify the colors, just as I'm demonstrating. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more design tips and tutorials. Thank you for watching.